Oh my, get off my ass. Ass. Jimmy, cut this shit. Shit! You want me to put you on the sidewalk? You want me to just leave you? I won't see you again? I'll just have you get picked up by a stranger? You want that? No, 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 I don't want that. Glad we're on the same page. Is she flashing her headlights at me? Fuck off. Fuck! Shut your mouth, Jimmy! You wanna go in the basement? You wanna go in the basement with the roaches? I'm gonna send you over to Uncle Bobby's. No! Oh no! No, 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 no! He's gonna teach you how to shut your damn mouth! Oh! Ew! No! Then stop cursing! I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy. Get off my ass, bitch! Whoa! Bitch! Hi, I used to work at a Starbucks inside of a Target, and I absolutely hated working there. Our management sucked. I had a very homophobic coworker, so many Karens, so I eventually quit. And in my last two weeks, you could not pay me enough to care about anybody that was less than kind to me. It made my last few Karen interactions very fun. I think it was like my second to last shift, and we closed in like 20 minutes. And this Karen came in with her two kids. Her kids are looking at the pastry case. She tries to order some chocolate chip cookies. So I apologize and I tell her like, sorry, we're all sold out. And before I can say anything else, she asks, well, what's that in the display case? And while I'm explaining to her that the food is old and expired, she starts yelling about how I got her kids hopes up. She yelled at me and called me cruel. I stop her right there and I say, I do not care about your children. She huffed off to go find a manager. But what were they gonna do? Fire me? Go ahead, I would have loved to not show up to my last shift. I am what you call professionally petty. I work in a call center uh, for an airline and I often get calls from dumbasses like this lady. I've been looking all over your website and there's no way on here to guarantee that my daughter has a peanut free flight. Oh, simple answer, because there is no way to guarantee that. What do you mean? because there may be guests who bring snacks on board with them because it is allowed. So you would just let them board the plane and endanger my daughter? Well, I do apologize for this group of random strangers who have not taken you and your family into consideration. Let me speak to your supervisor. Somebody there has got to be able to do something. Do you plan on taking the supervisor on this flight with you? You think you're funny. Not at all, ma'am. I'm simply trying to help you sort this out because what you're trying to do simply cannot be done. You better come up with a suggestion right now. Well, I do have one suggestion, but I don't believe you'll enjoy it. What? Buy all the rest of the seats on this flight. But what you gonna do if the pilot has peanuts? Oh my God, look at this. They're trying to stop the meme. Look, the Karen's trying to protect their name. Who is gonna tell them that this is the most Karen thing imaginable? Oh my God. Get shit on again. Like, you're trash, kid. Oh my god, how do I even put this stupid thing on? Oh, okay, there we go. Excuse me, young man! What do you have to say for yourself? My son is sitting over here in the corner, listening to the Juice WRLD guy's new album or whatever it is, and he says he wants to end his life because you yelled at him for sucking at this game called Fork Knife. Oh yeah, it's no big deal. He just said if I beat him in a 1v1 that I could go with a smoke show of a stepmom that he has. And I was like, yes sir! This is unacceptable. Let me talk to your mother right now. Oh yeah, I live by myself, but you can gladly talk to one of the 10 kids that I have in my basement. But while you're on the mic for a second, can uh, I say one more thing to Joey? I, I really can't get out. I'm sorry, my mom's inside. I can't. I really can't, I'm sorry. Called, I didn't do anything. I, I, I can't, I'm sorry. Really, how can I help you? Yeah, I needed to return my lotion or switch it out, whatever you guys will do. Uh, it's a little tricky. We don't do refunds or- May I ask why you want to return it? It streaked the heck out of me. My tan doesn't look even. Well, what lotion have you been using? The CBD lotion. Well, ma'am, that's what's called a maximizer, so there's no added bronzers to it. It rubs in clear. There's no way that it could be streaking your skin. You calling me a liar? Uh, no ma'am. I'm just informing you in case maybe we're using a different lotion or even a moisturizer at home that might have some bronzers in it. Well, I'm not, and I want a refund. Sorry, um, I cannot give you a refund. I see that you bought this bottle over a month ago, and there is more than half out of this bottle. Had it have irritated your skin, and you would have let me know immediately, I could have done an exchange for you. But unfortunately, I cannot give you a refund. Well, then exchange it. The bottle is empty, and you crazy. 
Why my mom's name should be Karen, part four. So this story doesn't involve me, it involves my older brother, Zach. Zach in high school was, uh, let's just say, Diedrich from Diary of a Wimpy Kid type kid. One day, my brother thought it was a good idea to invite a girl over late at night. So around 3 a.m., he sneaks in this girl. My mother awakes hearing the door open. She walks into my brother's room and sees my brother and this girl. My mom screams, get out of my house, you fucking slut. This girl bolts out of my brother's room, trips down the stairs while my mom is chasing her, yelling, you fucking slut, you fucking whore, all the way until this girl gets into her car. My mom is still chasing. I'm like seven at the time, watching my mom chase this girl down the street and saying every cuss word. Things that actually happened to me while working at a religious university. <laughs> Let me just get that for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Your alarm says birth control. Yeah, it does. Uh, thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just seems like a weird alarm to have. What does it mean? Like, you know, a reminder to pay your bills or <laughs> text someone or... Um, no, it's a reminder to take my birth control. <laughs> Silly me. Are you married? No, ma'am. <laughs> oh. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Marie. Love that. My little Lauren is going to be Lauren Ann. Oh my gosh, stop it. That's adorable. Mm hmm. After my grandmother. I'm actually gonna need your help. I'm stuck between two names. Either Rose, after my grandmother. Love that. Or Rose. After my favorite wine. Oh my gosh, so creative. So creative. Definitely rosé. Well, okay then, it's official. Chardonnay, rosé. Oh my god, she sounds French. You so ugly, oh my god. That's why you wear makeup. You're kind of short, what are you, 5'2"? You kind of fat, what are you, 250? At least I'm not single, little boy. <laughs> At least I don't got SCDs, Bigfoot. Aren't your parents divorced? Must suck. Yeah, at least my parents care to keep me in shape. Doesn't sound familiar, does it? That's why I'm smarter than you. Yeah, that's crazy. If I remember correctly, weren't you the girl that got caught messing with the teacher because you were failing? Whatever, at least I got more friends than you. Shoot, don't mind me. I don't want to join a hippo gang. Yeah, that's right. Say one more thing and I'll snatch your weave. Off to Woolworths. Prue told me I'd need toilet paper. So I bought every roll just for later. How dare you tell me someone else might need one? We'll go and buy some. Oh, well, there's not any left. Oh, well, that's a pity. <laughs> Better luck next time. Now, what's the one then? Oh, that's right. I've got to buy 3,000 uh, kilos of chicken breast from the, uh, from the meat section. Oh, my God. You're so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Miss Karen. You know, I got a little nightly skincare routine. I put a little soap and water on the face to exfoliate the pores. You know, I was thinking, do you think this is a little wrong? You know, you're like my son's best friend, but it's only wrong if you think it's wrong, Miss K. <laughs> well, I guess it's not wrong then. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Miss K. Live life on the edge of eternal life. Yeah. Yeah, daddy. Whoa, dude, what? What was that? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. That was, that was not something I normally do. What if I told you I really like that voice, Miss K? Then, uh, uh, fuck yeah! Yeah! Damn! Oh, shit, let's go back to the crib, Miss K. Make some cinnamon buns, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you.
like a month. English. Excuse me, are you talking English. to me? Is Siri, can here you block illegal? out the races? These guys illegal? Oh, so much better. Oof. Oh, she was pulled out. Oh. This afternoon to make yourself some breakfast or eat something. I know. Okay, but so I'm... now you can wait until dinner. I don't have to wait until dinner. I should be able to go get food when I want it. No, you shouldn't. You buy that food for me so I can eat it. Jenna, I quit buying the food for you. It's for us. I like those also. We will cook them for dinner tonight. The two of us. I bought two boxes. One for you and one for me. Jenna, we will eat them tonight for dinner. They're not even none. They're a snack food. They are not a snack food. Yes, they are. They don't even fill me up. They fill you up because everything fills you up. Well, you can they don't just. Fill me up. I'm telling you, you can wait. No, I don't want to wait. I'll take that goddamn box out of there and I'll throw them away. Because I want to eat now. Yes, because we'll eat. Thank you guys being um, challenging people on these uh, subjects. Okay, so we are with FTBA, the Freedom to Breathe Agency. We are with the people organization, making sure that people's uh, constitutional rights, civil and federal laws are not broken. Okay, and so you personally need to take it to your manager because you personally can be sued for this. Okay. I'm just following the short policy. I am telling you, you have yes. probably paid $15 an hour or $12 an hour, okay? okay. But you are putting yourself wow. into a major wow. legal liability. Yeah. You personally. Wow. Okay? okay? All right. Okay, you guys need to be careful. Yeah. Things that actually happened to me while working at a religious university, part four. Hi, so sorry to bother you, but um, I just walked by earlier and I noticed you weren't doing much, so uh, I was just wondering if there's a job you're supposed to be doing. Um, well my job right now is just to sit in the office and wait for someone to need something, but if you have something for me to do, I can help. Hmm, okay, um, would you mind if I actually called your supervisor real quick? Um, yeah, sure. Hello? Hi, I have one of your employees here and she's not doing much, so I just thought I'd let you know. Well, thanks for your concern, ma'am, but her job is just to sit there and wait for someone to need something, so unless you have something for her to do, she's doing her job just fine. Oh, alright. I'm just gonna go. Have a nice day, ma'am. Uh, funniest call I ever got from a Karen? I like to call a two-for-one special. Cause she had to get her husband on the phone and between those two dumb asses they did not make up one special individual i need you to double check with your agents at the fucking airport because i was there 10 minutes before my flight took off i could see the plane through the window and they still would not let me and my children through well ma'am according to the terms and conditions and the boarding pass you have in hand there you're supposed to be at the airport at least two hours prior to departure i don't know if you've ever been here but it's a very tiny fucking airport it is impossible to miss a flight here. Clearly not that impossible, ma'am. Eh, you know, you need to talk to my husband. Certainly. How you doing? This is Richard. Um, apparently, we got to get some straightening going on here because my wife's goddamn upset and you people are fucking up at the airport. What's going on? Well, your wife showed up at the airport 10 minutes before her flight, sir. 10 minutes? Man, she said, now, hold on. Oh, no problem. You old stupid pot belly trout mouth bitch got me on these people phones sounding Honey, come on, 6 a.m., time to get up for school. Okay. Just this is the last time I'm saying it, okay? If you can get up right now, we're gonna have some issues, okay? Right? Don't you dare think for a second that I'm driving you to school, okay? If you don't get up right now, I'm not buying you Chipotle today. Your bus literally just drove past the house, just so you know. Okay, honey, just so we're clear, your phone is gone. No Chipotle tonight. You missed the bus. I'm not driving you, so better start walking for your shoes. All right, so these are the kind of sodas we sell, and then these are the kind of reactions that we get from selling these sodas. All right, ma'am, here's that soda. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us and lets know what videos you guys want to see.